Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? So, welcome to the Hooks and Broomsticks Crochet Podcast, episode number 36. It's a shorter one. <laughs> um, so, I've been working a lot. I haven't had um, as much done slash worked on, um, but I have been doing some stuff. Um, I've been working on things, I guess I should say. Just nothing's, like, completed. Um, we'll start with yarny things for everybody who's here for yarny things. And we'll end with life slash nerdy things. <laughs> but, um, so, you guys uh, know that I have been working my way through not... Okay, not those, because those are... Oh. My finger is pointing in a weird place compared to where you see it on the camera. But what you're seeing me pointing at is my Eco Brights from Michaels. And what I've been working through is the thicker Eco Cozies that I got last year, which um, this is one of. This is actually the last, the only dark gray that I had. I bought this um, from that little Michaels down that direction um the tiny one that I said was like the one that time never touched <laughs> that still had these from last year like on regular price sales and everything or like at regular price and not like when those um when those are on sale those are the same price as those are for whatever reason um they just never got rid of them and they're keeping them on. So, well, I mean, they're like, they're depleting them. They're not getting more in, it looks like, but like they're keeping them on as the same price as the newer line of them. Um, but I had gotten this one thinking that I had more of this and what I actually had was the multicolored fleck one. So this is going, my project that I'm about to show you would be completed, except I'm going to stick this at the bottom of it for like an accent stripe. So you know I have been working on this just like mindless granny style um, shawl. Wow, brain fart. It wouldn't be an episode of mine without brain farting, right? So here's the completed so far. And there's going to be like a stripe of dark gray just to make like kind of break up the like, candy corn lookingness. Like I love the 70s look of it. And this isn't white, this is like that taupe. This is the taupe that had these little white flecks in it. And like most of the white flecks are just gone from like me working on it. <laughs> so, but this was like one ball of the mustard color. And then this was the two balls of the taupe fleck. And then this down here was three more balls of the mustard. And this was most all of my four balls of the orange color that I, I can't remember the name of it and I didn't bring the tags in, but um, those were the color names of all the other ones. This one is the orange color, whatever the name of it was. And I didn't have any more. So this one is charcoal and I only have the one. So I'm just gonna add this to the bottom here because I think it'll look pretty. And yeah, so that's gonna be like That'll be the end of it. It's already a really big, cozy shawl. It's very warm. Like, <laughs> we got our heat wave for, like, where it's normally quite warm by now and it's been really cold. We got our heat wave um, this last, like, weekend, week, weekend, whatever, the end of the week slash through the weekend. And because of, of the time of recording this, it is Monday, May 24th. Um... And it's been, it was like 89 when we went out this afternoon. So it's getting warm in my corner of Michigan. Um, so, but we have our air conditioning in. So like as far as like trying it on and keeping it on to see how it feels, it's great out there in front of like a fan and the air conditioning and stuff. But like my little um, yarn room has, I don't even have a fan in here yet. <laughs> and there's no air conditioning. And so I can keep like the noise level out. I have the door shut. So like is hot in here you guys <laughs> there's gonna end up being a fan added in for sure because i cannot do this for the summertime i'm almost positive uh without it so yeah 
So that's what I've been working on for like the majority of my week when I haven't been working. And then um, I have also been talking about wanting to start recreating some of the blankets from my favorite TV show, which I know you've seen this a lot. I swear it's been washed in between, but like this is like my like be at home cozy shirt like right now. <laughs> um, but my Stranger Things obsession is not, it's not it's never gone away. I just like didn't talk about it for like ever. And like the closer that we're getting now to um, season four, hopefully being released in early 2022. Like I'm, I hope you guys don't get sick of me talking about it. Cause like, it's going to be popping up here and there a lot. Um, I'll try to tone it down a little bit, but it's my definitely my happy place right now so um i'm trying to recreate some of the blankets from that movie uh starting with and i will flash it across the screen here i know i showed you guys before this poorly uh screen captured shot um from hopper's cabin um and what i decided to do was um work with stuff that i have at home because like the one color that i am 98% sure I have identified is the green color and I'm sure that that is red heart glowworm I'm a, I'm like almost positive that it is which is super discontinued I can't find it anywhere uh, I think Damon had interrupted last week when we were talking about it and um he found a part I think it was like a partially used skein for like $12 plus shipping on eBay. And then there was like one that was a partially used skein in a, in a lot of them. And I was like, I know I need at least two full skeins. Um, or at least like how partially used are we really talking? So I don't want to shell out that much money for it. <laughs> so what I'm doing and what I've started with... Um, and I know these are not the right colors. I know they're not. But a lady on Facebook, backstory before I show you the colors, I guess. Um, I had posted on a couple places on Facebook asking, like, does anybody have any guesses at this? Because, like, I can't believe it's not anywhere. <laughs> like, nowhere. Um, and one lady had posted, like, she basically posted, like, credentials almost. Like, I mean... It's like, girl, I believe you. I promise I do. Because it was so sweet that she even posted it. Like, nobody's going to just stop in their day and make that up, right? So, I believe her. But she listed, like, she's with this company. And this company did, um, in season three, they did their, uh, um... They rented them the rides, I think is what she said, that from the 4th of July carnival, which I've been obsessed with. Like, ev like seeing the, f the red, white, and blue decorations coming out for, like, Memorial Day and the 4th of July coming up, I've been like, oh, we should do, like, a Hawkins 4th of July festival. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Um, her company provided the rides, and her kids were extras in the movie, and she was talking about how, like, they did, like, a week of overnight-type filming, and she had the email address to, like, the, the set, like, designer, I think, and my fears were true. She said she had heard back from like a few days later, she had heard back from him and they bought, um, they basically just went to what I would do too. They went to consignment shops and bought things. So like, who knows for sure what the yarn is, but I'm, so I'm just using like what I have at home and calling it like good enough for now. Like I might go through later and fully commit to trying to do the absolute best. But since I'm trying to use my yarn and since I have some that I think are pretty well matched, here's what I'm going to do. The red in the center, I am going to use this big twist value that is in the colorway deep red. And it's being blown out a little in my lights, but I think it's an okay match for the red that's in the picture. The green... I have two of this color, which I called minty when I was talking about it, but it's fresh mint, and I know that it is not glowworm, but I think laying next to the other colors, I think it the idea will come across. I think it'll interpret fine, 
and it's a good reason to use this. So I have two minties, which is what, or I called it minty again. I have two fresh mints that I think will work fine and I'm gonna use it for that. And then the next color was like a golden color. So I'm just gonna use this red heart in gold, which I think they still sell at Walmart and I hope they do because I don't have a full skein of this left. But um, if not, I might have like, I might have some in another project that I can steal a little bit more from. Um, I just have to look for that. So in theory, I should have it. <laughs> Um, and then the two colors that alternate like this, that's the main body of the squares. And then there's either a white cream color or dark brown color. For the dark brown color, I well, for both colors, I went back to Big Twist Value. But I'm going to use their chocolate brown for the dark colored squares. And for the light colored squares, I am going to use cream. So I am hoping that those work out. Um, the squares were really big, so I ended up using, I think it's a J hook um, that I have started with. I've only got a few centers done so far, but hopefully that will work out. And yeah, so that's what I started this week. Um, I, I will tell you where I was when I started those in just a minute, because that's part of like the vloggy life adventure part of the podcast this week but I, yeah I started those anyway and um hopefully those all work out well together I'm excited about it uh, I don't know what do you guys think like do you think those will work together before I get too far in I've only got like I said like a few red centers started at the moment we'll see how it goes I guess but yeah I'm pretty pretty thrilled I've never been this excited to make a granny square blanket before <laughs> But I'm going to give it a go and see if it'll look like the one in Hopper's cabin. Um, also, re-binge watching because I want to try to see if I can see, like, I'm positive they sewed them together because it's flat, but there's no actual, like, join. So I'll be sewing them together instead of using my continuous join. That's how dedicated I am to you, Stranger Things. But, <laughs> um... I want to see if I can catch a hint of like, is there any kind of border at all? Even if it's just like a single or double crocheted border around it, I need to try to find out. And in the screenshot that I took, you couldn't tell, but I know that blanket makes like an appearance a little bit more. So I'm going to give it a go and see if not, I have an idea for something I'm like simple that I'm going to put around it just to make a little border on it. <sighs> well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm... I hope it ends up turning out good um, and something that I'm proud of that I can make. look at my Stranger Things blanket. I mean, I'm probably going to do that anyway, but um, I hope I'm proud to say that. <laughs> um, that being said, I will have the link down below and bear with me to start with because I'm still like learning my way around it. But I started my Facebook group for everybody. Um, I have titled it, I don't know if I can change it later or if it's just stuck with this, but I titled it The Crochet Witch and Friends because we are all friends. We are all a little family. So I thought it was like appropriate. And I, like I said, if I can change it later, maybe we'll change it around a little bit. But I figured if it's something that we're stuck with, there are worse names to be stuck with, right? So um, I will have the link, like I said, but that's the name of it. I think the way I have it set up is that you have to be approved and there's like one question to answer right now which is like an easy crochet related question so it's not hard at all um and i am i'm unofficially announcing it right now because i'm not ready to get it started but maybe for anybody that is um wanting to join later this will give you a chance to like get started but i'm thinking of hosting my first crochet along which will be there um on the facebook group and it's gonna be stranger things related so if you are able to think about what you might want to do um i'll lay out some more guidelines and um actually announce it later but that's what i'm thinking of doing because i'm really excited and i really want to do that um and it'll be like a whole long time to, that you'll have to get stuff done. So 
look for that coming up if you want to join my group now the announcement will be there i'll announce it on a video also but um that's probably where i will make like a thread for you to post on i'm thinking that seems like the easy way to do things i don't know yet i'm very new to this <laughs> but um yeah so just like I said everybody be nice like the group is literally for everything like I love to see all of you guys' makes anyway and I'm always telling you to like go ahead and tag me on Instagram or message me on Instagram or email it to me you can just post in the group if you want to now um and I'm always don't ever not show me your yarn hauls if you want to show me yarn hauls show me yarn hauls I want to see them I love seeing everything you guys do and everything you guys get and I want to see everything you guys make and post away as long as it's like friendly and not um, insulting to people uh, I'm I'm it's a go you know so I go for it <laughs> um, no, there, I mean, there won't be any, I don't think we're big enough. Well, we're definitely not big enough in group, but I'm not even like a big enough podcaster to worry about getting people who are going to want to come like sell things and stuff like that. There won't be anything like that going on there, but like, I don't even think that needs to be said right now because I doubt anybody's going to be trying any of that. I'm definitely not a big enough person to be drawing in things like that. So, but just in case, no. <laughs> um, so that being said, we've covered works and progresses, almost finished things. We've covered um, the Facebook group. I did get some more. Let me make sure I'm not giving off any addresses here. Some more. I opened my door one day and there is this little teeny package from Lion Brand. And um, this is from Miss, I'll say her name right on YouTube this time. Lilu Carson. I always call her La because that's like when we email, like that's how I know her. And I actually just realized this. I have not emailed you yet to let you know like that this came. Um, so I'll be doing that before this video comes up, but I did get it and um, I have slid it open. Like I think, uh, yeah, you can definitely see it slid open. So but she emailed me and said like something else from Lion Brand was coming because she spoils me, rotten, like absolutely rotten. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, which is super sweet. Seriously, like <laughs> I can't, I really can't thank you guys enough. When, whenever you think of me, just to like send any like a card or anything like that even like it doesn't have to literally be anything but it's so appreciated I love the fact that you guys even think of me like even leaving comments like literally anything thank you um but let's bust into this so we're gonna open it up and the packing slip is here no way no Oh my gosh. Okay, so I haven't watched when I was like in my little burritoed up cocooned emotional stage. I haven't watched, like I've been trying to play some catch up on a lot of videos, a lot. Um, not just making my own, but I mean like watching everybody's. And um, I haven't watched a whole lot. But one that I did catch was um, one of Crystal's from Bag of Day. And she had been reviewing this yarn. I'm gonna, can I get one of each? Okay, so actually, I'm just gonna show you. So here's what the box came as. And um, because I was like antisocial with the world, I didn't even know this was a thing um, for the longest time. So I most definitely did not order any or think about getting any, but Law sent me. Look at these. How adorable are these? They're um they're called Mandela Craft Cake. And these are the four colors they come in. This one is my favorite. I love, love that one so much. Um okay, so I'm gonna show them to you one at a time. Look, they have, they have like they're like a little heart. I love these. Thank you. Um all right, so this one is called Black Tie. I really like this one too, a lot. 
Like, I think these would match or mix and match really well. Like, <sighs> how pretty is that? Are those the same? And I think they're the same yellows. Okay. Before I get into dissecting stuff. So this one is black tie. And there's four of, three, three of each of these. One, two, three. There's three of each of these, which is like crazy. Thank you so, so much. Um, this one is called Under the Sea, like the Little Mermaid song. <laughs> so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that purple in the middle too. Okay, so there's the first two. Let me tuck these away. I'm saving the best for last here. This one is called Sweetheart, which, look, the heart in the middle then is, oh red and it's sweetheart and like there's the little feely like circle these are so soft oh, I love these so much and this one which is my absolute favorite is called falling leaves with a red heart in the middle and all this just beautiful orange and gold and brown surrounding it how gorgeous is that I love these so much like okay so I'm not sure like I'll have to read on the lion brand site like what if they're like meant to be anything specific like when they were talking about the um because I, I noticed it says like craft cake and they had that yarn that was just like craft yarn and it was like but that stuff I didn't get any but somebody had said it was like it was rough and it was just like your basic it was just meant for like, not even necessarily like crochet, but like macrame even or whatever. This does not feel like that. So if they have anything else in mind for it, I don't know. But I could see like a really pretty shawl with these colors. Couldn't you? Oh my gosh. Especially if there'd be enough of it mixed maybe with this one. So pretty. Thank you so much, La. Like I absolutely love these. I swear I didn't even know they existed except for you and Crystal. I love them so much. I'm definitely going to have to play with them really soon. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You spoil me so much. I love them so much. Let me set this off to the side before I end up making a mess too. Have like an avalanche of like random stuff. <laughs> um... It might make it worse actually i'll just leave it alone <laughs> so but thank you so much um i think i think yarny wise that's it um but i have some nerdy things and some life things so if you're only here for the yarny things thank you so much and i love you and i appreciate you subscribing and stopping by and spending my yarny time with me i appreciate everything i appreciate all the comments thank you so much and of course I love you so much thank you but if you're curious if I had any more nerdy stuff come in <laughs> um so I have been spending besides crocheting and besides working I have been um I told you I had found those like uh comfort character comfort letters and what I've been using them for because I got several of them is like inspiration because I've been writing again it's not good writing, but it's not, like I said, it's fanfic. It's not, like, um, original writing. Um, I mean, it's original. I didn't, like, copy somebody else's actual story, but I'm saying I'm using other people's characters because, like, this one is Stranger Things. Didn't see that coming, right? But, um, so I've been writing, um, and I've been using the letters as, like, inspiration. Like, whatever the author of the letter has um, said in the name of the character that has been written in I've been using it as inspiration for interactions and the stories that I've been writing so still on my stranger things kick I'm not gonna like share the letters and all that kind of stuff but I did get some other <laughs> things off of Etsy so when I go to my concerts um I always like because sometimes we travel a really long ways like I don't know if I told you but like you guys probably know we live in Michigan and like I've driven all the way to like 
North Carolina before to see my band. I've driven to Colorado. I've driven to Iowa. I've driven to Pennsylvania. So, like, I don't, like, leave the house with my, like, rocker makeup on. Um, my goth makeup on. Uh, because... It won't be fresh by the time we get there. Sometimes we don't get there until the next day, depending on the destination. So, I mean, sometimes I have it on, but I reapply later. So, I have, like, this, like, mirror compact that's just a mirror on both sides. And the one I have is just, like, a black gemstoned one, like, for the cover. So, <laughs> I need an Etsy intervention bad, you guys. So, when I saw this, I decided to replace my other one. <laughs> I got a hopper one. <laughs> I'm not going to show you the inside because I don't want to like do the reflective mirror thing. The inside is literally just like it opens like that and inside is just two mirrors. It's nothing. The inside's nothing special. But <laughs> I got one with hopper on it. <laughs> and then I got a candle that was hopper inspired. <laughs> if you're familiar with the show, like I couldn't resist because this person's candle is scented with coffee deep woods and tobacco <laughs> um deep woods is one that i would normally get but like none of neither of the other two are scents that i would normally get and here's what the inside it's a soy candle and um it is very like strong <laughs> and uh <laughs> i like it but it's not a scent i would normally um get but i could definitely see hopper coming out of like his cabin smelling similarly <laughs> that's for sure i haven't burned it yet obviously but so we'll see how it smells burning it but those are my nerdy purchases for the week and like what i've been doing besides crocheting and working and um as far as life updates so by the time you see this it might be tuesday already but it's monday for me right now um meaning tomorrow tuesday i'm going to my first of two specialist visits the foot one is still like two weeks away I think um but this one is for issues possibly related to my surgeries like lady issues um because uh some of you who have been with me for a while know that I had a surgery that was um I had a hysterectomy because of some cancer related things and um I'm still having some issues with that. So um, I guess we'll just see if, like, I don't know if she'll have some answers right away tomorrow. I don't know if she will have no answers. I don't know if we'll have tests to wait on. I don't know um, what will happen from that, but that's what's going on tomorrow. And hopefully for the rest of this week, besides working, I'll be working on videos and things i was supposed to do my movies for my movie and stitch last week and catch up with both weeks i'm gonna have to do that this week because by next week it'll be time to start a third movie <laughs> so you're gonna have to uh get two movies reviews from me this week or i'm gonna be really really behind um i'm hoping this weekend to get those other I think there's only two squares left, like I said, in my whip weekend um, blanket, so I can get moving with that. Um, I don't know what else I have for you guys. I have I've had a few sales recently in my Etsy store, again, on my um, Destination Anywhere uh, hat and cowl and um, my Silent Night cowl, and I really want to thank, thank you so much for that. Um, and, um, yeah, I'm working on a new, the new shawl pattern still that I just haven't, I haven't gotten around to doing the tutorial or writing the pattern fully out for it yet, but it is on the way also. <laughs> it's just, it seems like everything is like, it's on the way, it's on the way, it's on the way, it's on the way, but it is, I promise it's on the way. Um, but I wanted to make sure and get an updated video out before I go see the doctor so that you guys know that I'm going and that I will have maybe some sort of news we'll see but I am going to cut this off here and just say thank you so much for joining me and like if you want to follow me on Instagram I do still post there somewhat regularly now still 
Um, I do have, I will have the Facebook link down below um, if you want to join there and hopefully get ready for this cal. I am excited about it myself, so I hope that you guys are too. And um, if even if you don't want to participate in the cal, that's fine. Just come and, you know, be friendly and share some camaraderie over there. So anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining me. And I will definitely talk to you guys again this week. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.